When you're out in public, it is impossible to tell who has immunity to the coronavirus and who is susceptible. But a San Diego based company is trying to change that. Their solution, tiny beads and something similar to a nicotine patch. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how they're leveraging old science in a new way. In the not so distant future, you may need a so-called immunity passport to go shopping, board a plane or go to work. Proof of coronavirus antibodies. And if San Diego based Diomics gets their way, it could look like this. If I walk through line and you saw a red spot here, you'd know I, I have circulating antibodies. Anthony Zolezzi is the CEO. The small biotech company is developing two products using their patented material. This is the prototype of the actual patch. One is a temporary patch, like a nicotine patch, that can detect coronavirus antibodies. And you'd put it on your arm right here, like this, and if you have circulating antibodies, this will turn red. He says it takes 24 to 36 hours to get a reading, and then the patch would stay on the skin for a week or two. The other product, thousands of tiny injectable beads, the width of a hair, that work similarly and make a colored dot on the skin. But this one can last anywhere from six months to a year. We think this is an, an integral piece of getting back to normal and getting people comfortable in the school system, getting comfortable in major events. Zolezzi says the products could be used in several ways. People could get the injection while they're healthy and then find out quickly if they ever get infected. He says the products could also complement a COVID vaccine, since it will likely take weeks from the time of injection to build antibodies. And there are questions about how long those antibodies will last. So this patch will show you also when the color dissipates it's because your antibodies have dissipated and that's the time to, that you either need to get a boost or some type of prophylaxis. They're using a concept that's more than 100 years old. In 1907, a French physician named Charles Mantou developed an injection test for tuberculosis that creates a dot on the skin. All we're doing is modernizing it. Diomics was doing skin care and diabetes products before the pandemic. Their products are FDA approved for other uses, but they'll need new approval for this. Diomics plans to start clinical trials at UC Irvine next month, and their goal is to have products on the market by the end of this year. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.